Mr. Holcomb. Thank you, Mr. President. What makes the EU Commissioner for Foreign Affairs think she can have any influence on the course of Libyan politics and push for a government of national unity when there is little unity within the member states of the EU itself? Just look at the individual member states' reaction to the current migrant crisis. The folly of the initial Western intervention of Libya is well documented and the collective failure of the international community, including the European Commission, to effectively secure the peace in North Africa has led to a power vacuum in Libya that even President Obama has forced to acknowledge. This in turn has created a breeding ground for terrorist groups such as Islamic States to build fiefdoms, operate criminal empires with impunity and threaten the very fabric of security in the EU's member states by flooding the continents with their fighters. In fact, there is no better example of the EU's foreign policy failures than the vile human trafficking trade operating from Libya, which has led to countless deaths and has left European politicians scratching around for a reactive solution to the mayhem they helped create in the first place. And what does the EU do instead of seeking a head-on solution to the migration crisis? They demand yet more European centralisation, this time through the creation of an EU-wide Coast Guard and Border Force. Having seen what has happened to countries that put their trust in the EU's management of the euro, I wouldn't trust any EU bureaucrat to effectively police our seas, secure our borders or give advice on unity governance. Yeah.